Welcome to The World Is In You. It's an exhibition about how our bodies are connected to the planet and the universe, explored through four different themes, space, time, microbes, and generations. My name is Peter Stanners. I'm from the Novo Nordisk Foundation Center for Basic Metabolic Research at the University of Copenhagen, where we do research into metabolic health and disease. And we're really excited about this exhibition because we think it really shows the enormous potential of using art and culture to talk about these big societal topics in relation with science, or so bringing in these scientific topics. With me today, I've got postdoc and historian Kristen Hussey, who's one of four curators from the Medical Museum behind this show. The Medical Museum does research into science communication um, through the program Metabolic Science and Culture for CBMR. With her, you've, we have uh, Zach, Associate Professor, Zach Gerhardt Heinz. You're one of the group leaders at CBMR, where you investigate how fat tissue controls our metabolic health. So welcome to you both. And Kristen, time is one of the four themes behind this exhibition. Can you tell us why you curators decided that this should be one of the four themes? Yeah, of course. I mean, time really is one of the most pressing questions of our age. Whether it's starting off the 20th century with Einstein's theory of general relativity, the atomic bomb, and now discovering increasingly smaller and smaller amounts of time, the way that we're all concerned for protecting our private time, wasting time, spending time, it's everywhere in our society. But what we wanted to do with this exhibition was take that big question of time and make it something more tangible, make it embodied. So we wanted to think about body time, and in doing that we were inspired by the science of circadian rhythms, which thinks about how our bodies live in time, these cycles of time, every day. Cool. Now, you said circadian rhythms, so circadian rhythm, circadian biology, this is a big field, and I understand, Zach, this is one of the, the fields that you explore within your research. Can you tell us, you know, what is circadian biology? So, so circadian biology is quite simply the study of our body's clocks, uh, and those clocks are set to the timing of the 24-hour rotation of the Earth. Uh, and I think what's really fascinating is that every cell in your body is equipped with its own clock. And what a circadian biologist wants to study is understanding how all the different cellular clocks within your body coordinate every behavior or metabolic process in your body uh, to maintain metabolic health. Uh, and I think uh, additionally now in the 21st century, we also try to understand how these evolutionarily fine-tuned clocks uh, come up against our, our modern day lifestyle where we see a lot of disruption, uh, such as eating at all times of day uh, and jet lag and, and, and things of this nature. Okay, cool. So you two have actually worked together on some of the art and the objects within this. So we're gonna go inside and take a look and uh, have a chat about it. Come, come along. Okay, so now we're in the exhibition, we're in the theme time, and we're in front of this video installation called Time Animals by artist Isabella Martin. And this was commissioned specifically for this exhibition. And, and maybe Kristen, you could tell us a little bit about this piece and, and how it was commissioned, the process. Yeah, I'm, I'm so incredibly proud of this work. It's the result of almost two years worth of collaboration between Isabella, myself, and the scientists who work at the center. And what we were trying to do with this work is interrogate not necessarily what chronobiology is, but what it feels like to be one of the people who are doing it. So we followed scientists in the lab. We were inspired by the conversations that we had with them. And then we tried to take all of those insights and bring a really creative artistic lens to it. So this imagines the journey of a chronobiologist over 24 for our period, and while I hope the scientists feel reflected in it, it's also imaginative and poetic and asks bigger questions about what it is to be a body who lives in time, to be a time animal. Excellent. Um, and, and Zach, so I understand that a number of, of, of members of your lab are in this video, they're sort of, they're featured, and I mean, this is also kind of what your research career has been like. You've been in labs, you've been spending nights doing this sort of work. When you saw the video, did you see yourself reflected in it? Do you see your sort of your research career in there? Yeah, I think this really captures the visceral nature that a, a circadian researcher feels. I've done my share of of 24 hour uh, mouse experiments. And I think what 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 I love about the video, what Isabella was able to capture, was this sense of needing to be precise and rigorous as a scientist. And yet you're doing this at all hours of the day and you have to have that consistency to understand uh, the true nature of, of circadian biological rhythms. So I, I think not only does it touch 
uh, to me and my own experience, but I think also what Isabel has been able to do is allow an immersive experience that even non-scientists observing the exhibit can really see in an artistic way uh, how a circadian biologist operates in one of the most critical experiments that we do. Excellent. Well, this is just one uh, piece, and I know you wanted to talk about many other pieces here, but this is all we had time for. So. Um, the World Is In You is going to be open here in Copenhagen until January 16, so please come on by if you're in the city. Thank you both of you for, for your time.